At the start of every year, you will get a new class page for each of the classes that you teach. These will be set up and waiting for you on the left-hand side of your page in your side menu. To access your class page, you can click on the link to that page. Once on your class page, you can set it up however you like. You may notice that there are already some components there for you. These are components that your school has added to a class page template to start you off. To delete any of these components, you can click on the cross in the top right hand corner of the component and then select yes. You can click on the settings icon on each component to view its settings. Each component has different settings. For example, the image slideshow component has alignment settings, whereas the files component allows you to choose what type of files it displays. It's a good idea when adding a component to check out these settings and adjust them for your use. To customize the colors and the layout of your page, you can click on the Edit Columns icon in the top right corner of the page. You can then adjust the column width of the page. As well as change the colors of the components. Once you have set your colors, don't forget to hit save. You can reset your color scheme to its original state at any time by clicking reset. Once you're happy with your page colors and layout, click the edit columns icon again to close this area. To add components to your page, click the plus icon in the top right hand corner. You will see that there are many components that you can add to your page. These are sorted under the headings of information, collaboration, learning, multimedia, resources, and feeds. To add a component to your page, simply drag and drop the component to where you would like it to appear. You can move a component at any time by dragging it and dropping it to a new area. Depending on your teaching style, or the year level or subject that you teach, you will want to set up your class page differently. If you teach junior students, you will probably like to add a blog component where you can post regular reports on what your students have been doing. If you are a secondary teacher, or an upper junior school teacher, you might prefer to add a social stream for your students to communicate with each other and with you about the course. You might also like to add to your class page a calendar to record important class dates, a class teachers component to show the teachers, and a class list component to show all the students in your class. You might also like to add some tiles that link to your course pages. Please note that you will learn more about building your course pages in future units. You may even be lucky enough to have someone at your school who has already set up your courses for you. Remember when setting up your class page that you will be setting up a new class page for each of your classes every year. So don't spend too much time setting it up. The best practice is to put more work into creating your course pages and then importing them into your class page.